Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer on this Thursday, the 26th of August. And uh, today, our readings, the first reading from St. Paul's letter to the Thessalonians, uh, again, uh, complimenting them on how well they were doing in their lives and how he was admiring the fact that they were tending to one another's needs, taking care of each other, living the gospel that they had learned uh, from from him and from his companions. So a big thank you, a shout out to the Thessalonians in today's uh, first reading. And then in our gospel story, Jesus is reminding us to stay awake, to be alert. Uh, he says, if the uh, homeowner knew the date and the time that the thief was coming, he would have uh, taken measures, stayed alert, stayed awake, and not allowed his home to be broken into. And he said, likewise, we have to always be ready and prepared because we do not know the day or the hour when the Lord will come. Talking about his second coming into the world and also talking about the end of our earthly pilgrimages, each of us individually, when we breathe our last breath. We always have to be prepared, be ready to face our Lord uh, at our judgment. So it's, it would behoove us to always stay awake, to be alert, to be prepared, to uh, meet our maker, as they say. So today we, we pray our evening prayer and in the uh, with asking God to keep give us the strength we need, the grace we need, to be always vigilant and uh, be uh, ready to uh, to say hello to Him, and hopefully, when we do, He will recognize us as good and faithful uh, children, and not someone He does not recognize because we've gone missing for so long. Let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I cried to you, Lord, and you healed me. I will praise you forever. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, I cried to you for help, and you, my God, have healed me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead, restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Sing psalms to the Lord, you who love him. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts but a moment, his favor through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I said to myself in my good fortune, nothing will ever disturb me. Your favor had set me on a mountain fastness. Then you hid your face and I was put to confusion. To you, Lord, I cried. To my God, I made appeal. What profit would my death be, my going to the grave? Can dust give you praise or proclaim your truth? <clears throat> the Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me, you have changed my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. So my soul sings psalms to you unceasingly. O oh Lord, my God, I will thank you forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, our Father, glorious in giving life, and even more glorious in restoring it. When his last night on earth came, your Son shed tears of blood, but dawn brought incomparable gladness. Do not turn away from us, or we shall fall back into dust, but rather turn our mourning into joy by raising us up with Christ. I cried to you, Lord, and you healed me. I will praise you forever. The one who was sinless in the eyes of God 
is blessed indeed. Happy the man whose offense is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. O oh, happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile. I kept it secret, and my frame was wasted. I groaned all the day long, for night and day your hand was heavy upon me. Indeed, my strength was dried up as by the summer's heat. But now I have acknowledged my sins, my guilt I did not hide. I said I will confess my offense to the Lord, and you, Lord, have forgiven the guilt of my sin. So let every good man pray to you in the time of need. The floods of water may reach high, but him they shall not reach. You are my hiding place, O Lord. You save me from distress. You surround me with cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel with my eye upon you. But not like horse and mule unintelligent, needing bridle and bit, else they will not approach you. Many sorrows has the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, loving mercy surrounds him. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, exult you just. O come, ring out your joy, all you upright of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You desired, Lord, to keep from us your indignation, and so did not spare Jesus Christ, who was wounded for our sins. We are your prodigal children, but confessing our sins, we come back to you. Embrace us that we may rejoice in your mercy together with Christ, your beloved Son. The one who is sinless in the eyes of God is blessed indeed. The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, you have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one, for the accuser of our brothers is cast out who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death, so rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. There is cause for rejoicing here. You may for a time have to suffer the distress of many trials. But this is so that your faith, which is more precious than the passing splendor of fire-tried gold, may by its genuineness lead to praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ appears. Although you have never seen him, you love him. And without seeing, you now believe in him. And rejoice with an inexpressible joy, touched with glory, because you are achieving faith's goal, your salvation. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat, honey from the rock to our heart's content, bread of the finest wheat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. 
My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. Our hope is in God, who gives us help. Let us call upon him and say, Look kindly on your children, Lord. Lord, our God, you made an eternal covenant with your people. Keep us ever mindful of your mighty deeds. Lord, look kindly on your children, Lord. Let your ordained ministers grow toward perfect love and preserve your faithful people in unity by the bond of peace. Look kindly on your children, Lord. Be with us in our work of building the earthly city, that in building we may not labor in vain. Look kindly on your children, Lord. Welcome into the company of your saints, our relatives and benefactors who have died. May we share their happiness one day. Look kindly on your children, Lord. Let us conclude our prayers with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, you illumine the night and bring the dawn to scatter darkness. Let us pass this night in safety, free from Satan's power. The end rising when morning comes to give you thanks and praise. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.